Hey, you guys, thanks for listening into this episode of Tips with Tea. On today, I have Mr. Harrison with us. Hey, Mr. Harrison, how are you doing today? Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. So um, thank you for being a guest on the show. And so tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Cool. Yeah. So I run a digital marketing agency, uh, formerly rebranded to Growth Generators, uh, and we help businesses create more content. So whether that's education, coaching, uh, or helping them and just writing the content for them. Uh, it's a great way to help them get found online, build some brand recognition and pick up a bunch of customers along the way. Awesome. Awesome. So um, what we're going to be chatting about today is like the new biggest thing that everybody is tending to go to, which is um, Clubhouse. So tell cool. us more about it and how to use it. Sure. So I have this love hate relationship with Clubhouse um, and I will tell you why. So Clubhouse is a phenomenal uh, platform. It's, it's arguably one of my favorite platforms now, um, but there's a massive catch to it. When you spend time on Clubhouse, Clubhouse is very different than a podcast. A podcast, you can, it, it's recorded. You could always go back to it, right? With Clubhouse, it's gone. The moment that room closes, there's no more information. And it's not like any of that's being recorded. So my, my gripe with Clubhouse is, you know, if you get a guy like Elon Musk, right, he's the richest, richest man in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And he's giving, you know, a, 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 a lecture, some, some insights, things like that. And he stops speaking and nobody hit record on that. It's gone. It's gone forever. But on the flip side of things, there is so much potential on the platform. And this is where my love-hate relationship with it comes in because it's so crazy convenient there is it, unlike a podcast it's always going to be something new your topics are going to be new your the vibe of the room is going to be different the people speaking is going to be different and the nice part is is when you're walking your dog or you're driving around or whatever activity you may be doing at the time you could just fire it up and then you're tuning into essentially live radio which i love i think that that is probably the coolest part about the whole thing because just being able to get in there right away and, and hear other people's opinions, hear other people's thoughts, and this is probably the biggest value, is you can ask questions. So depending on the size of the room, being able to just jump into a room with uh, an, an expert, we'll call them, and ask a question to get immediate feedback is huge. And that is, in my opinion, priceless. Because you there are people in there that you would never imagine you could get your, you know, get in front of, whether it's branding experts, marketing experts. Um, it could be musicians, right? If you're a musician, there's the, you know, the lead singer of Rascal Flats was in there the other day and I was chatting up with him and I'm like, this is crazy. You have this guy who, who does world tours and I'm, I'm speaking to him mm -hmm. for like 20 minutes. Like when, like, and I didn't have to, I didn't have to pay any money. I didn't have to go through security. I didn't have to jump through hoops. Right. And he's just, we're chatting up and there's other industry people in there and stuff like that. So that's the, my favorite, my absolute favorite part about it. So how um, is it beneficial for business owners? Sure. So I think th there's a couple massive benefits for people I, right off the bat. Number one is being able to get answers to your questions. I think Google's a great place and I love YouTube, but sometimes your question doesn't necessarily fit the content that's been created already, regardless of what that content is. So being able to go in there and find a room and, and as a business owner and ask, or finding a room of business owners that do what you do and have already solved the problems that you're looking to solve, once again, makes it an absolutely priceless app. There, you know, there's, there's no better, there's no better benefit to that. On the flip side of things, if you can position yourself to be a panelist and you start networking and it's just like networking in, you know, I don't want to say in real life because clubhouse is real life, but in person, right. You get in front of the right people and they invite you to speak on their panels. And if you could do that on, on clubhouse, you can drive crazy traffic to your business. You can position yourself as a brand expert and you're going to be invited to speak on more panels where people are trusting, you know, maybe uh, let's just say hypothetically, I'm Grant Cardone invites me to speak on his, I don't know, billion dollar talks, right? 
people that are joining that room immediately assume that I'm in the caliber of Grant Cardone, whether or not I actually am. So kind of taking these steps to move up is a great way to position yourself as an expert. And, and that, that ability to sell that ability to position yourself the right way. And the other cool part is, is while you're on the app, you can, people can visit your profile. So if your profile is really well done and, and well built, they're going to be visiting your website during this whole time. And it's not uncommon for people to be getting Instagram DMS during, during a conversation and be like, Hey, can you help me out? Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? That is where the true benefit I think lies, especially as a business owner. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so what are some other apps that um, we can use that you are think they are better than clubhouse since you said that, you know, clubhouse has a couple of um, things that you don't like about it. Yeah. So number one, I, I think right off the bat is the fact that you can't record. It, it drives me nuts that you can't record. Um, I, I, I don't know. And I'm not a hundred percent sure if stereo can do this, which is one of clubhouse's competitors. They came to the game a little, a little later, but if somebody, and, and I don't know hundred percent if this is already made, but if somebody could come up with a clubhouse esque app, but have it automatically record people speaking I think that's really where the, the, the major benefits are going to be because you being able to do that is, is tremendously powerful. So either taking that clubhouse and recording it, which I don't know if you're allowed to do or not allowed to do, but if you could take that clubhouse and record it, or even if you don't want to record the whole clubhouse, listen to the questions that people are asking you and start leveraging those questions to use in other areas of content so whether that's a youtube video that's a blog um there is you know a podcast anything like that those are going to be really good mediums because those are searchable forever mm -hmm. unlike you know clubhouse that's gone that you know you you hang up you close that app out or whatever it is that whole conversation is completely done and it doesn't it doesn't work for you ever again you know i i, I just found out recently that my podcast is in the top five percent of the world pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything on my podcast in over a year, but people are still listening. It like blows my mind that this is happening. Right? I was just writing an article before this and even a YouTube video, it took 140 days, 144 specifically for a massive trajectory change. So it was just, you know, a couple of views, couple of views, couple of views. And 140 days later is when it took a massive upswing. And it's like, okay, now 50 people are watching that video every single day. Right. Imagine if you could speak to 50 people every single day, how important that would be to you. You know, how much of an impact would it have on your business? So does the app already exist? I'm not 100% sure. But I do like that you can have TikTok where TikTok might not save it, but you can create content where people can subscribe and follow you along with your lives and things like that. You also have Facebook Live where those are actually recorded, which I think are, I think people are sleeping on. I don't have enough time in a day to, to do Facebook lives and things like that. Um, but Facebook lives are huge. You have Instagram lives, which I think are recorded for 24 hours, if I remember correctly, or, or left up there for 24 hours, which is huge. I think that's where, where clubhouse falls short. And I, um, I would be willing to bet money that if somebody went all in on Facebook lives and did interviews and tried to get these people, that's the tough part is getting them on and getting them in your live. If Facebook or another major company came up with something similar where it was recorded, that would be the biggest app in the world. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Harrison, for being on the show today. Um, I highly appreciate you. So um, can you tell our listeners how they can get in contact with you if they want to render your services? And I will share the social media handles for you. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys can reach out to us, growth-generators.com. Uh, I have my personal website, harrisonbaron.com. I'm constantly doing different stuff on there, testing, breaking, fixing. Um, it's kind of like my little playground to build things online. But I would definitely say, you know, reach out if you guys have questions. I have an extremely active YouTube channel. I'm doing 120 videos in 120 days uh, right now. So if you have a question about marketing, digital marketing, anything like that, go on the channel, leave a comment and say, hey, could you make a video about XYZ topic? I can almost guarantee you the fact that I will do that because I'm always looking for more content to, uh, to create on there.
Awesome. And if you guys want to get in contact with me, you can do so. Um, my number is 910-317-0396. You can shoot me an email at contact at mjfinancial.biz. You can schedule a consultation on the website at www.mjfinancial.biz. You can find this episode on Anchor, you guys, and you can also find this episode on the YouTube channel for MJ Financial Management. So thank you once again, Mr. Harrison, for being on the show. I highly appreciate you. Anytime. Happy to be here. This was a great show. Awesome. And you guys, we will see you on the next episode of Tips with T.